Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, Marinol Missioner, and welcome to our daily Gospel reading and reflection. Today's Gospel reading is according to St. John, chapter 12, verses 1 through 11. Six days before Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, where Lazarus was, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. They gave a dinner for him there, and Martha served, while Lazarus was one of those reclining at table with him. Mary took a liter of costly perfumed oil made from genuine aromatic nard and anointed the feet of Jesus and dried them with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the oil. Then Judas the Iscariot, one of his disciples, and the one who would betray him said, Why was this oil not sold for 300 days' wages and given to the poor? He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief and held the money bag and used to steal the contributions. So Jesus said, Leave her alone. Let her keep this for the day of my burial. You always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. The large crowd of the Jews found out that he was there and came, not only because of him, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. And the chief priest plotted to kill Lazarus too, because of the many Jews were turning away and believing in Jesus because of him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. We hear today of the exorbitant and seemingly wasteful act of Mary in the anointing of Jesus' feet where she took a liter of costly perfumed oil, worth up to 300 days' wages, and slathered Jesus' feet to excess. 300 days' wages, that's roughly about $30,000 in today's value, enough to buy a mid-sized sedan with all its trimmings. So on the surface, it seems Judas's comment was indeed justified. Why this unnecessary waste? The funds could have been used more productively elsewhere. It is until we hear from St. John, the very next verse, that Judas's outcry is littered with pretense. He didn't care about the poor, but only used the poor to promote his own selfish gain. This dynamic continues to play out to this day, that is, taking up just causes which are notable in and of itself, but do so under the guise of self-promotion. We see this happening in politics, nonprofit agencies, volunteer programs, and sadly, even in the church. Wherever there are human beings, there lies the folly of pretense. So as we continue on in this journey to grow with the words of God, let us be mindful to be as authentic and genuine as possible. Thank you for listening to today's gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and uplifting day. If you enjoyed today's gospel reading and reflection, please make sure that you subscribe wherever you're listening to podcasts. Also, if you know somebody who may find value in today's reading, please make sure that you share it with them. To learn more about how you can support the work that Mary Knoll does around the world, please visit us at MaryKnollSociety.org. And if you're interested in subscribing to our online magazine, please feel free to visit us at MaryKnollMagazine.org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today, and God bless.